In a quiet corner of Meadowbrook Nursing Home, Eleanor and Harold shared a small room filled with faded photographs and mementos from a life once filled with laughter and adventure. The walls, painted a soft pastel green, were adorned with snapshots capturing their youth. Harold, tall and dashing in a crisp navy suit, with Eleanor radiant in her flowing white dress, both beaming on their wedding day. Nearby, a picture of them at a beach vacation showed them laughing, sand sticking to their sun-kissed skin, waves crashing behind them. On a small table beside the window sat an antique clock, its hands frozen in time, a poignant reminder of the days gone by. They were a pair of fading stars, their brilliance dulled by time, yet their love for each other shone brighter than ever, a flickering flame against the encroaching shadows. The sounds of the nursing home often felt like a distant echo, with the occasional laughter of staff mingling with the cries of other residents. Outside, the sun filtered through the trees, casting a warm glow into their room, but inside, it was a sanctuary filled with memories of shared dreams and cherished moments. Eleanor's silver hair framed her face like a halo, each strand a testament to the years she had spent with Harold. Her skin, lined with the marks of time, glowed softly in the afternoon light, and her deep blue eyes sparkled with wisdom and affection. She wore a floral dress, a relic of the vibrant colors she once favored, its fabric soft against her fragile frame. Her hands, once strong and capable, now trembled slightly, yet they still sought Harold's touch, like a flower reaching for sunlight. Harold, his posture slightly hunched and shoulders stooped, sat in his armchair near the window, a well-worn quilt draped over his legs. His hands, now frail and veined, were the traces of a life well-lived calloused fingertips that had once built and created, now resting gently in his lap. Despite the frailty of his body, there was a warmth in his presence that seemed to envelop Eleanor, bringing her comfort. He wore a crisp, button-up shirt that had long since lost its crispness but still smelled faintly of his favorite cologne. Their daily routine was a gentle dance of love and care. Each morning, Eleanor would brew a pot of tea, its fragrant steam swirling around them as they reminisced about their adventures. They would speak of the places they had traveled, the cobblestone streets of Europe, the bustling markets of their youth, and the quiet evenings spent under starlit skies. They would laugh about the time they got lost in Venice or how Harold had nearly dropped the ring during their wedding ceremony, each story a thread weaving them closer together. Though the world outside their door was filled with the shuffling of feet and the distant echoes of other residents calling out in confusion, Eleanor and Harold created a bubble of love within those four walls. The noise faded into white noise, leaving only the sound of their soft laughter and whispered conversations. They were each other's anchor, a light in the twilight of their lives, holding on to the love that had weathered the storms of life. In their small haven, time felt suspended, allowing them to cherish every moment, every smile, and every gentle caress, even as the world around them continued to shift and change. Their bond, unyielding and deep, was a testament to the enduring power of love, illuminating the dark corners of the nursing home with its warmth and resilience. Remember the summer we spent in Paris? Eleanor would often muse, her eyes glistening with memories that seemed to shimmer in the dim light of their room. She would picture the bustling streets lined with cafes, the aroma of fresh baguettes wafting through the air, and the sound of laughter echoing off the cobblestones. Harold, his face lighting up with recognition, would reply, how could I forget? You wore that stunning red dress, and the Eiffel Tower glimmered like a diamond against the night sky. In those moments, their laughter would dance through the room, a melody of shared joy that wrapped around them like a cozy blanket on a chilly evening. They would reminisce about walking hand in hand along the Seine, the gentle waves reflecting the city lights, or their picnic in the Jardin de Tilleries, where they had feasted on cheese and grapes, oblivious to the world around them. Each memory was a thread in the tapestry of their love, rich with colors of passion, adventure, and laughter. But as days turned into weeks, the relentless passage of time began to steal Harold away from Eleanor. He struggled to keep up with the world outside his mind, where bright memories sometimes flickered like the dimming lights in their room. It was as if the vibrant hues of their past were slowly fading into sepia tones, the laughter echoing in the corners of his mind growing softer. He would gaze out the window, watching the seasons change, and Eleanor would notice the flicker of confusion in his once bright eyes. One crisp autumn morning, 
the air was filled with the scent of fallen leaves, and the sunlight filtered through their window, casting warm golden hues across the room. Harold sat in his chair, a faint smile on his lips, as he reminisced about their days in Paris. But as Eleanor gently squeezed his hand, hoping to draw him back to her, she felt a sudden stillness envelop him. Harold took his last breath, his hand slipping from Eleanor's grasp like a feather falling from the sky. The loss struck her like a thunderclap, echoing through her heart, leaving an emptiness she had never known. Tears streamed down her cheeks as she clutched his hand, willing him to return, to tell her another story, to share one more laugh. But the room felt cold and hollow without his warmth. The vibrant tapestry of their life together unraveled before her, leaving her alone in a world that seemed to have lost its color. Days turned into nights, and Eleanor found herself moving through the nursing home like a ghost, the joyful laughter she once shared with Harold now replaced by the distant cries of other residents. Each familiar face she passed reminded her of the love they had forged and the bond that now felt irrevocably severed. The once cozy blanket of their shared memories had become a heavy shroud, weighing her down as she navigated the corridors filled with shadows. In her heart, Eleanor understood that they had not just lost each other, they had lost a part of themselves. The connection they shared had anchored them in a world that often felt chaotic and overwhelming. Now, she felt adrift, a solitary figure among the thrumming lives of those around her, each grappling with their own grief and confusion. Yet, in the quiet moments, when the sun cast a gentle glow through the window, Eleanor could still hear Harold's laughter echoing in her mind, the sound mingling with the rustle of the leaves outside. She held on to those memories tightly, knowing they would always be a part of her, even if he was no longer by her side. As she closed her eyes, a flicker of hope ignited within her, a belief that someday, they would be reunited, dancing again beneath the Eiffel Tower, their love shining brighter than ever. Days turned into a blur after Harold's passing, the world around Eleanor blurring into an indistinct haze. The vibrant memories that had once danced in her mind, filling her with warmth and joy, began to fade like old photographs left too long in the sun. The colors of her past were replaced by the haunting cries of her fellow residents, each wail echoing through the sterile halls of Meadowbrook Nursing Home, a dissonant symphony of sorrow that filled the air. Eleanor found herself wandering the halls of Meadowbrook, feeling as if she were moving through a dream, a surreal landscape where time lost all meaning. The walls, once adorned with cheerful paintings, now felt like prison bars, confining her to a reality she no longer recognized. Without Harold, she felt like a ghost, drifting from one room to another, her laughter silenced, and her spirit dulled. Each step she took was heavy, weighed down by an invisible burden that seemed to grow with every passing hour. She watched as others, who had also lost their partners, became shadows of their former selves. Faces that once radiated joy and vitality now wore the blank expressions of grief, their eyes vacant and hollow. The residents shuffled about, their movements slow and shuffling like zombies, each one lost in their own sorrowful reverie. Eleanor recognized the signs of despair in them, the way they clutched at old photographs, murmuring names only they could hear, or the way they stared blankly out of windows, as if waiting for someone who would never return. In the dining hall, once filled with laughter and chatter, silence reigned. Eleanor sat at a table, pushing her food around her plate, the taste of each bite a reminder of the emptiness that enveloped her. Around her, others quietly picked at their meals, their conversations reduced to fragmented words and broken sentences. The sense of camaraderie that had once bound them together had dissipated, leaving behind a profound sense of isolation that permeated the room. At night, the loneliness became more pronounced. Eleanor lay in bed, the shadows of the room stretching across the walls, and she felt the chilling absence of Harold beside her. The bed felt enormous and empty, a vast expanse that amplified her solitude. She would reach out, hoping to feel his familiar warmth, but the sheets were cold and unyielding. The soft whispers of the past haunted her, the echoes of their shared laughter now a bittersweet reminder of what she had lost. As days blended into nights, Eleanor found herself retreating further into her mind, seeking refuge in memories of their life together. She would close her eyes and imagine Harold's voice, the way he would tease her about her stubbornness or the warmth of his embrace when they danced in the living room to their favorite songs. 
But as much as she tried to hold on to those moments, they slipped through her fingers like grains of sand, leaving her feeling more lost and alone. Yet, even in her deepest despair, Eleanor sensed a flicker of resilience within her. She began to observe the world around her more closely, the gentle way the staff treated the residents, the small acts of kindness shared between neighbors, the occasional glimmer of a smile that broke through the fog of grief. Perhaps, she thought, there was still a flicker of hope amidst the darkness, a chance to reconnect with the living even as she mourned her beloved Harold. It would take time, but maybe, just maybe, she could find her way back to the light. One afternoon, Eleanor sat by the window, the soft sunlight filtering through the glass, casting a warm glow on her frail hands. She watched the leaves outside fall like memories, swirling gently to the ground in hues of gold and crimson. Each leaf that drifted away seemed to take a piece of her heart with it, reminding her of the days when she and Harold would stroll through parks, hand in hand, marveling at the beauty of nature. A nurse passed by and gave her a gentle smile, a small act of kindness that barely registered in her fog of grief. Eleanor appreciated the gesture, but her thoughts were consumed by Harold and the beautiful life they had built together, filled with laughter, love, and shared dreams. The once vibrant conversations and laughter that echoed through their room were now replaced by an overwhelming silence that hung in the air, heavy and suffocating. She could almost hear the faint whispers of their shared jokes and sweet nothings, the echo of their lives together. The photos that adorned the walls, once vibrant reminders of joy and adventure, now felt like ghosts of a bygone era. Eleanor felt herself slipping away, becoming one of the lost souls in the nursing home, her essence fading like the autumn leaves outside her window. But in those quiet moments, Eleanor began to dream. Each night, as she closed her eyes, she was transported to a world where time and pain held no power. In her dreams, she would see Harold, his face illuminated by a gentle, ethereal light that surrounded him like a warm embrace. He would be standing in a beautiful garden, the kind they had always talked about creating together, filled with blooming roses and fragrant lilacs. He would beckon her to join him, his voice a soothing melody that washed over her. Eleanor, he would say, his eyes twinkling with mischief and love, it's not over yet. We'll be together again. Each word filled her with a sense of comfort and belonging, as if he were pulling her back to the life she had lost. In these dreams, their laughter would echo through the garden, and they would dance among the flowers, as they once did in their youth, free from the burdens of time and illness. Each morning, Eleanor would wake with a faint smile, the warmth of his presence lingering in her heart like a soft glow. Her heart beat with the hope of reuniting with her beloved, and for the first time since his passing, she felt a spark of life returning to her weary soul. She began to look forward to sleep the only time she could escape the sorrow that enveloped her during the day. In her waking hours, she would sit by the window, tracing her fingers over the glass as if trying to connect with the world beyond, imagining the garden Harold had shown her. Eleanor started to find solace in the small things, a warm cup of tea, the gentle touch of the nurse's hand, the sound of birds singing outside her window. With each passing day, she felt the weight of despair begin to lift ever so slightly, replaced by the whispers of hope that Harold had instilled in her dreams. As the seasons changed outside her window, Eleanor realized that even in her grief, there was beauty to be found. The leaves that fell were not just reminders of loss, they were also symbols of change, of new beginnings waiting to bloom. She vowed to honor Harold's memory not by succumbing to sorrow but by cherishing the love they had shared and looking forward to the day they would be together again. Then, one peaceful evening, Eleanor lay down in her bed, the soft cotton sheets cradling her frail body like a gentle hug. The room was quiet, the only sounds coming from the soft rustling of leaves outside her window and the faint, distant chatter of other residents. As she closed her eyes, she let the warmth of their memories envelop her, each recollection washing over her like a soothing tide. The laughter they shared, the adventures they embarked on, the quiet moments spent in each other's company, all these memories wrapped around her heart, creating a comforting cocoon. She felt a lightness in her chest, a gentle pull that seemed to draw her closer to Harold, the man who had been her rock, her partner, and her greatest love. As the warmth of nostalgia spread through her, Eleanor imagined Harold's voice, tender and inviting, calling her home. 
It felt as though he was reaching out to her from a distant place, his presence vibrant and alive in her mind. With a final sigh of contentment, a smile graced her lips as she drifted into a deep sleep, leaving the physical world behind. When the nurse found her the next morning, Eleanor lay peacefully in her bed, a serene expression on her face as if she had just stepped into the embrace of love once more. The soft morning light streamed through the window, illuminating her features, giving her a glow that seemed almost otherworldly. In that moment, she had transcended the confines of time and space, her spirit liberated from the frailty of her body. It was as if the weight of her sorrow had been lifted, replaced by the joy of reunion with Harold. As the nurse gently adjusted the sheets, she noticed the smile that lingered on Eleanor's lips. It was a smile filled with warmth and tranquility, suggesting that she had found peace in her final moments. In death, Eleanor had found her life again, a life where love never fades and souls are forever entwined. She had stepped into a realm where the past and future coalesced, and the barriers of time melted away. In her mind, Eleanor and Harold danced through eternity, their spirits entwined like the leaves that danced outside their window, swirling gracefully in the gentle autumn breeze. Together, they explored lush gardens bathed in golden sunlight, laughed in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, and relived every cherished memory as if it were happening anew. Their love, untainted by the ravages of time, flourished in this new existence, vibrant and alive, just as it had been in their youth. As the sun rose higher in the sky, casting a warm glow over the nursing home, Eleanor's spirit embraced the freedom and joy of their eternal dance. The world around her continued to spin, filled with the cries and shuffles of those still bound to their earthly lives, but for Eleanor, the noise faded away. She was free, free to love, free to laugh, and free to be with Harold once more, their hearts forever intertwined in a tapestry of eternal love.